This is Mickey. She fell in love with Joel. Right from the beginning, these high school sweethearts didn't go the traditional route with their relationship. He being bisexual, I, I told him, I said, why don't we just get a girlfriend? Then they met Jada. They asked me to be their girlfriend. Honestly, everything just fell into place. Unfortunately for Jada, when she entered into the triad, her family took against her new relationship. When my family called me ungodly, I was in shock. It's been very upsetting. Even speaking about it is a little upsetting. My cousin is coming over this evening. What I thought when I heard about Jada and a polyamorous relationship, of course a bunch of things starts running through your mind. It's not something you see every day. Obviously, it's, it's not for everybody. How do you feel about polyamory and the hate that's been going on? <laughs> Did you just put paprika in my damn eggs? Me and Mickey met in high school. Everybody was telling me that she was the new girl in school. I actually was clowning around and I was like, yeah, she's my girl, don't even worry about it. And I was telling everybody that and it got to the point where they were going up to her like, oh yeah, you're Joel's girl? She's like, no, I'm not nobody's girl. <laughs> I'm Mickey. <laughs> It was hilarious. I finally got to meet her. We bumped into each other in the hallway. The rest of the story takes off there. I realized I was bisexual in like the beginning of middle school. I always liked girls. We decided that we would be polyamorous. Me being bisexual, I, I told him, I said, so why don't, why don't we just get a girlfriend? And he looked at me and was like, yeah, okay. And I was like, no, like, I'm really down. Like, you know, I like girls. We can do this. Yeah, at first, I don't think he took me serious. But then, like, we started going on apps and talking to people. Babe, you hungry? Yeah, it looks good. Look at me. Yeah, Mickey and I have been together for six years, and we've been together with Jada for almost a year now. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you ready to pray? Dear Holy Father, please forgive us for our sins in Jesus' name. Our relationship in the poly world is called a thruple. Just basically means three people that are in a relationship. A couple with three people. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for our daily bread in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Being in a polyamorous relationship hasn't changed our beliefs. We still go to church. We still pray before we eat, when we wake up, when we go to sleep, just like we did before we met Jada. I never predicted myself in this type of scenario, but I definitely would not go back. I enjoy this type of lifestyle. She can't go back anyway. <laughs> all right, we're about to do a TikTok, all right, guys? So basically, I wrote this rap, and you guys are gonna basically we we have different parts in the rap oh so you're gonna do like like it's your voice but we're like saying it that's yeah, funny so all right let's do this tiktok this is my tiktok dance oh my <laughs> <laughs> we try to do a tiktok almost every day and if it's not every day then it's like every other day and it's all based on our couple people online when they see our videos are actually very supportive they will leave comments and be like, wow, I want something like that. They'll put hearts if they think it was cute. We get good comments on social media. Yeah, one lady even said, I don't know how I got here, but I think I'll stay. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite. We've got backlash for that. As soon as you go to hell, no, it's more like, oh, you're probably a simp. Oh, you probably do this and that. Oh, you probably have to manipulate them. Like if he's trying to coerce us or something, but it really, we're all in this together. After that, I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> when we are in public, people assumed the stereotypical guys with two girls. Oh man, you got two girls? The arguments must be crazy. Your pockets must be empty, like all that. They'll think we're swingers. Yeah, like they- Not swingers. <laughs> I'm living my life. I'm with them in their lesbian relationship, they get more of a backlash. On Women them. are most of the time looked at like, oh, you're with two people, he's a pimp, and we're we're the horse. Like it, <laughs> it never it never goes. Everything that you wouldn't say to a normal relationship, we get, you know, because they don't think we're normal, which they, we're not. But at the same time, we are. All right, so you might as well hurry up and post the video. <laughs> I'm gonna post it. Yeah, I posted it. Can you help me for some damn clothes, please? Hold up, I'm making mac and cheese. I gotta poop after that, I gotta pee. Oh my goodness. Oh, people already like 
That's crazy, we just posted that. Some of my family members are actually like against the relationship and that's mainly because of like religion and everything. So it's pretty hard to get anybody to come over or like to see family members and stuff because you know, they just don't agree. My family reacted to the relationship in, I want to say silent but loud way. I got Bible scriptures after Bible scripture after Bible scripture in my phone. When my family called me ungodly, I was in shock. Not that I was a perfect person or anything like that, but I was very strong in my faith. So for others to sit there and tell me that I wasn't godly or that I need to seek Jesus and all this stuff, it just, it, it hurt me. It's been very like upsetting and even Speaking about it, it's a little upsetting. There were moments where I was depressed, there was moments where I was very sad, and I do miss my family and I do still love them like very dearly, but I guess like right now we're all keeping our distance. Babe, let's go start making drinks because Lily's almost here. Alright, let's go. My cousin is coming over this evening. She's one of the only people that I'm talking to at the moment. What I thought when I heard about Jada and a polyamorous relationship, I was kind of surprised at first. Of course, a bunch of things starts running through your mind because you know, it's new. So it's not something you see every day. Obviously, it's, it's not for everybody. I feel like others have a hard time accepting her relationship because they don't really know what it's like to be inside of a polyamorous relationship. So when they hear about it, the first thing that comes to mind is that it's wrong because you're supposed to be in a couple for two people. It kind of scares people in a way. Hey. hey. Now that you know about this, like, how do you feel about like polyamory and the hate that's been going on? Well, you already know me. I don't judge at all. As long as you're happy and you guys all communicate as one, you know, I don't see no problem with polyamory. It's like a regular relationship, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. It's just with three people. Yeah. I don't judge. I, you know, I love you all. <laughs> Well, thank you for being so understanding. I love you, of course. I know you think that there's family that's gonna judge you, but there's a lot of family that you have behind you that is here for you, that won't judge you at all. Thanks for having me over. I appreciate it. Gosh, I was a pleasure always having you. All right, I love you guys. Don't love you too. Bye. Bye. I'm still hoping that my family will accept me for who I am. At the end of the day, I still love them. We're just gonna continue loving each other. No matter what, nothing's gonna change us. We're together now, we'll be together tomorrow, and we'll be together forever. We're gonna show everybody on every single platform I love and every single way that we love each other and we'll make it our mission. We're gonna continue loving each other till the day we die.